Hi, my name is Faith Wynn. I am in Honors Physics, zero period. And I will be showing you how I made my protective device for the egg drop project. Let's get into it. These are the regulations for this project. First, gather six pieces of paper. To make sure our pieces are even, we're gonna make guidelines by folding the paper in half three times, as you can see in the video. This helps all our pieces be equal and even with each other. After you finish folding it, unfold the paper to reveal the guidelines, and we can start making our paper look like a fan. Start by folding one crease up, then turn it over, and repeat this process until you reach the end of the paper. Once you finish folding that piece, fold it in half to make it look like a fan. Here, you will attach these pieces with tape. Now that the folds are taped up, repeat this process seven more times. You should have eight of these pieces at the end because four fans will form one wheel and there are two wheels needed for this device. Messed up while filming this, there should be four fans instead of three but all you have to do is line up the edges and tape them together so you can form one wheel as you could see in the video do this until all your pieces are attached together you're gonna notice some big gaps once you finish taping up your wheel so we're just gonna go through and tape them up as you can see in the video. You don't need to tape up all the gaps because we're gonna need some later. So just do the bigger gaps that you see first. After taping it up, your wheel should be sturdy and not flimsy. Now you can make the second wheel. Now that you made your second wheel, we'll be looking for a spot that we could attach the tube to so just play around with your wheel and look for any open spots that you didn't tape up. If you can't find an open space, remove a piece of tape that was closing it on your wheel. Now we will make the tube that holds the egg. Make sure your paper is laid out this way. When we roll the egg up, do not make it very tight because we want to be able to place the egg inside easily later on. Here I'm just marking the paper to know where I need to tape it later on. As you can see here, I'm going to tape the tube together, making sure that our markings are not touching so there's some room for the egg to go in. Now make sure that your tube is enough room for the egg by putting it in and taking it out. To attach the tube, we're going to be using that gap that we found earlier in the wheel and just stick the tube into the gap and secure it by taping it in. Place tape in these areas where the tube is most weak by putting tape on the sides of the tube, connecting those folds together, and also attaching the tube to the inside of the fold itself. Some parts may not be fully secured, just add some tape to the inside and try to make it as straight as possible and as sturdy as you can. Attaching the wheel to the other side of the tube is going to be a little bit different because we want it to be easy access to put the egg inside, so we're going to make a little cut on that fold. So all you have to do is measure and estimate where the middle is and just mark where it is so we could cut it later. I made the cut off camera, but now all you're gonna do is make sure that your tube fits inside the hole that you made and then tape 
the sides to the tube and just secure it down. Finish up by closing up any gaps that you see and I'll show you what to do in the next part. Now I'm measuring my device so I could start making the support beams to prevent my device from collapsing when I drop it. We're gonna use one piece of paper and I'll show you how to make the beams. With my measurement earlier, I saw that my device was seven inches long, so I just cut my paper to that length. And now all you have to do is roll it up and then tape it at the end. You'll do this as many times as you want just to support your device. Just to clarify, this is how I taped it up to make sure that our support beam is connected and won't be loose once we put it onto our device. We finished making the vertical support beams and now we're making the diagonal ones. And since the diagonal ones would be longer, just use one piece of paper and do what I'm doing in the video, which is just folding it in half. So then there'll be four um, distinct guidelines that we'll cut out. With those pieces we cut out, just roll it up like before, and these will be our diagonal. You'll need to trim them later because they'll be too long, but that just depends on your device. There's no correct way to put in your beams, but you want to make sure that the beams make your device straight and that they don't twist in a weird way. I recommend just watching me put them in first and then do it yourself after because we also have to put in diagonals, which is kind of hard to explain. To connect the beam, you want to put the tape like how I did in the video because you don't want those sides to be pinched on and actually touching the beam. So that's how you would do it. And that's how you attach all your vertical beams. Now to attach the diagonals, you want to put a roll of tape and attach it to the actual flaps and you're going to see that it's going to look like an arrow and you could just apply tape there if you want in those areas but make sure that it looks like an arrow and follow this pattern all the way around your device this is what it should look like once you put your support beams in you could go in and tape any places up make sure to not tape up that hole where the egg goes in but just continue make it more sturdy wherever you can now we need to make a supportive band around the outside of the wheel for extra support so first fold your paper in half to make guidelines and you'll need to do this for three pieces of paper to make the border once you cut your paper in half you're gonna roll your piece up about three times and make sure that the width of the piece you're rolling up could go around your wheel and I'll show you what it should look like later. You'll need approximately three of those pieces you made earlier to make one long strand that will go around one of your wheels. This is what the band should look like and I'm going to show you how I attach the band on. So you're just going to tape the end of it to wherever um, it fits the wheel. And once you do that, you're going to go into some of the individual fans and tape it onto the actual band. Do this until you think that the band is secured enough and do that for the other wheel as well. And this is what your final product should look like. As you can see, my device is less than 500 grams and meets the requirement that all the dimensions are less than 30.5 centimeters. That's my tutorial. Hope you had fun. Bye!